Hello everyone, this is Danny, Dan Desktop Support. Uh, first of all, it's been a long time that I didn't uh, produce any videos, but hey, things get busy, you know. But today my video is about I talk on uh, Windows 7, both server Windows 7 and a client Windows 7. So I was really waiting for this to happen and it did, did happen, but with some some of the features are not working but it's great that it's working at least it's working some of the main feature like locking the screen is one of my favorite features so that's working uh, and today I'm going to show you how to do that uh, I've been putting a lot of videos about all talk and I just want to say that this person whoever is he um, the developer is I greatly appreciate his work because that is this is making my life easier at least and some other school uh, um, IT techs administrators or teachers so today let's just start from going to the site and download the Windows 7 version of iTalk so what you gotta do is type just all the talk and then go to download and just click on download here and on the right here is continue and you can find an official build with the latest release of our talk. Just click on it, and I'm sorry, I went to the wrong place. Actually, just go to the home page, and then right here is the one I talk to release candidate one. So click on it, and then it will take you to right here. So if you are using 32 bit system, you gotta this one. If you're using 64, you gotta use this one. Don't download this one. This is for XP, the last final version, which is pretty cool. It works. Everything works in this version. So if you have, if you're using 1.0.9, and uh, you're worried that uh, if you install this one, something's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. You can even install on the server, the one that you're using it. You can write install right on it and it will just replace it and your clients won't have any problems you just have to restart the client's computer to make sure that uh, it is working with 1.0.13 all the features are working in this one so if you're using XP I would definitely recommend you to upgrade it to this one okay let's go back to Windows 7 so what we can do is we're gonna install right here download it and then save whatever browser you're using it's just gonna go to download folder or if you have a custom folder it will go to that and right now I'm looking at it it's installing I'm just gonna pass the video so alright so we're back again I'm just gonna open folder wherever it's not so what you're gonna do is you just double click on iTalk to release on the server we are on the server right now, so we're not on the client. Make sure you remember that. All right, so next, I agree. Next, and both should be checked. Next, take out this. I don't want, if you guys want this, I don't want it. So I'm just going to start installing it. Do not be registered. So, because. The other thing is that I have already installed this on my computer. So if you have already installed it, you want to make sure that everything from our talk is removed. And when I did a mistake over here that I didn't remove some of the folders, I guess, so maybe that's why it gave me the error. But let's just go forward and I'll just give you how it works. So you see this stuff right here, uh, talk server. I wouldn't change it because I really don't know what it's, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, so then I wouldn't touch it. I'll uh, leave it as a recommended right here and the main part right here is this what we're working on right now okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a key so for our client computers and or uh, before doing that what you need to do is make permission for this server so then people who ever want to open this ad talk will have to log into the system which is uh, another cool thing that if someone have access to your computer you can change this right here so let's say manage and I already have IT in there so you if you're doing it for the first time you're not gonna see this what you need to do is click on add and then uh, type the username this is my uh, computer name and then just uh, enter and it will go there or you can type a username in there 
So I'll type IT and then click OK and it will come right here, ITPC slash IT. Give a full control, click OK. Then what we're going to do is launch key file assistant. So then this is where you need to read. You can see because I changed my resolution. So it's going to take you through. So what we need to do is we need to create a client computer, uh, create a new access key for client computers. So we need to click here and then click next support team or administrator or teacher. So then you can just export public key master key. Sorry. So just give uh, find a place where you can just put this key. So because this is going to be used on your client. So all I'll do is I'll make another folder on my desktop and I'll say key test and then select the folder click next finish and wait for the message success key da, 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 successfully created click OK now you can close this alright open it open I talk and see what's gonna happen so it's gonna ask you see where you get the permissions if you don't if you don't do that step you're not gonna come to this point so you make sure you give full access to this username so what's gonna happen you see that right here all the pieces that I connected to it is right here is coming through to my machine okay so this is another PC this is uh, a client PC this is the same server that I'm using right now you can see the screen right now and this is the one that I'm using right here virtual machine is right here okay so now this one let's see okay now this one is the, not the one that I want to use but I'm gonna add another one right here okay so this is the one that we will turn on access right now and you can see it's not working right now so it came up right now sorry okay so you go back to here and you can see it right here how did I get this client machine to work with my server and the way you do it is that you're gonna go to your uh, account administrator account on the client machine okay so once you're in it what you need to do is just like the last one you would plug in your USB with iTalk installation file uh, the the file that you get from the site what you need to do is you need to run that site and then you need to run a uh, console I um, I talk console so like for example here is you're gonna come to your um, your computer on the client side and you'll do is I tell key setup so once you click on it it will take you to this right here okay so once you take it to do it right here, you get click next and import public key of master computer. The key that we created on server, what you need to do is you need to um, plug in your USB, get the folder in there, and then search for it. Okay. So what you need to do, if for example, if this is my drive right here, if it's my drive right here, E drive, whatever you're using. You're just gonna click on it, select the folder, and click next, next, and next. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna install the services from the the server client, and then it will start working on your computer. It's very simple. That's all you gotta do with the client. So let me just show you how it's gonna work. Uh, so right now we're here. Let's just block the screen on a client computer. Okay, so just wait, desktop, and it's locked right here. You can see it that it's locked. Okay, and that's what's the main feature. Uh, for some reason, the full demo, Windows demo, is not working on this one. Maybe I don't know how to do it, but if someone knows, they can send a response video and show us how to do it. But other things are working. Okay, send a message, and it works without asking for a Windows. Uh, Windows 7 has this option that will ask you to display the message and without doing that it will just work. So it's pretty cool. It's work. 
it works. So if you're a teacher or someone wants to implement Italic on Windows 7 for a purpose that you want to block the screen for students and get the attention, then I think it's perfectly working right now. No problems at all, and it's really fast. The remote control is extremely fast. You just click on the remote control and it just works right away without even a second delay. So I like it. It's working. You guys can see it. Try it at home. Try it on your test lab and let me know what happened, okay? Thank you very much for watching the video. I'll be making more videos, many other things. So thank you.